we want to consider the following reaction at chemical equilibrium. And then we want to find out what is the effect if I decrease the volume and what is the effect if I increase the volume. So I'm going to go ahead and write decrease on the left. So we want to decrease. And I'm going to go ahead and write increase on the right. Now somewhat this is kind of a loaded question because once you figure out decrease, you know what the increasing is going to be. But it's the principle behind it, so let's try it that way. So if I decrease, if I'm looking at volume, I have to look at what? I have to look at the number of moles. So I have 2 SO2, so I've got 2 moles there. I've got 1 mole of O2, so that's 2 plus 1. And then, then on the right-hand side, I've got 2 moles. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and 2 stays 2. Well, we know that's already going to be the same over here, right? I'm going to have 3, and I'm going to have 2. Now, if you recall, if we decrease the volume, we have to shift to the side with the fewer moles. So I'm looking for fewer moles when I'm decreasing. So which side has fewer moles? The right. So I'm going to shift right. Now if I increase the volume, I've got to shift to the side that has more moles. So I'm looking for more moles. Now which side has more moles, 3 or 2? Well, the 3 does, so I'm going to have to shift left.